Welcome to Blots for MMA. Today, with another blog talk. As you can see, I'm here again with my boy, Hasbula. So we will be talking today about um, the women's featherweight division. Amanda Nunes is currently the champion of the women's featherweight division. She also defended her title one or two times already. And the thing is with, with the division that it is really, really small. You don't even have rankings there. If you go to the UFC homepage right now, you don't see any rankings. And that's because there are more or less no fighters there. There are like six or seven, correct me if I'm, if I'm wrong, but I think there are six or seven women that fight there. How can this be a real division? Is this even fair to other champs to call somebody a champ that is champ in a division with just seven fighters? Is that even fair? Because someone you will have beaten every fighter in your whole division and you are still champ. Like, is that something that should be, that should exist? Then you have other divisions like men's lightweight, where you have more than 50 guys or something fighting there. And the champ there should be the same, should get the same belt and be the same champ like the one who fights with just seven people in the division. I don't know if that is fair, to be honest. So we really, really have to talk about that. Should the women's featherweight division still exist? Or what should we do with it? For me, there are two options. No, yeah, two or three options. First option, cut the division. Because there are three other amazing women divisions in the UFC. The strawweight division, the bantamweight division, and the flyweight division. All three good divisions with many fighters in there and good champs, good fights that you like to like to watch. Do you like to watch women's featherweight bouts? Me not so much because the contenders normally you are a contender if you fought one fight and won one fight you're already in the title picture. Should that be something? No it shouldn't. Other people fight 10 fights to even be in the top five and be able to be in the title discussion. And this isn't fair. This shouldn't be happening like that. So you could cut the women's featherweight division. As I said, you still have three amazing divisions and you don't need more. Otherwise, you could add atomweight maybe. Atomweight is a women's division that currently isn't in the UFC. I think it's in Invicta right now and in some other organizations. There are many good prospects that can never fight in UFC because there is an atomweight division. Maybe give that a try. That would be an idea. Then you still have four divisions, but you don't have a division without any fighters. That would be option number one. Option number two would be just add some fighters there. I really don't watch too many women's MMA fights out of the UFC. I watch many organizations, but I don't actively watch the women's bouts there. Normally I skip them or because I watch live, I'm just on my phone right then and stuff. It depends on who fights, of course. If it's an interesting fight, I'll watch it. But normally I start with being on my phone and then maybe if I hear the commentators going crazy, I'll watch. But that's the reason why I don't know how many featherweight fighters there are in the world. Women's featherweight that really are something that, that, that really can fight because normally you see, even though they're not fighting in the UFC, you see if they could fight in the UFC, if they could uh, withstand the uh, pressure there and the level there and all that. That means if there are good featherweights in other divisions, sign some of them. Sign 10 new fighters. Do that. Do a the ultimate fighter for featherweight. Okay, no, maybe that, that won't be something that many people watch, but I don't know. Sign some fighters. Make the division stacked again. Make the division interesting again. Let them fight each other. Maybe there will be a new prospect who can even beat Amanda Nunes, which will be amazing. For the division, of course, for, for the UFC to have some, some new stars. Do that. Or maybe, maybe that's also somehow number three, Kayla Harrison, because Kayla Harrison, I hope when this video comes out, it isn't official yet, but she's in talks with UFC, as I know. Of course, there are some other organizations 
where she could sign but if she would sign with the UFC it would most definitely be in the featherweight division because she's a lightweight and they won't do a lightweight division for her so she would have to cut to featherweight if she can do it and that would make the division interesting again even though it's just one fighter but Kayla Harrison is a huge star and to see her fight Amanda Nunes would interest me it would really interest me so that would also be an option sign Kayla Harrison and still if you sign Kayla Harrison sign two three more fighters give them a chance maybe they prove to be an amazing prospect there that will make the division interesting again otherwise for me maybe it's different for you you can write it in the comments for me it's not interesting like that I can't I won't watch any fight of a division where there are just seven people. Of course you respect the champ because you have to respect everybody that steps in the cage. But for me, Amanda Nunes right now is no champ. How can you call yourself champ if your division doesn't even have rankings? Like, what are you the champ of? Of this group of six people? You're like the champ of your neighborhood or what's, what's the matter here? For me, she right now is not a champ. If she beats Juliana Pena again, she will be the champ again. And I don't want to disrespect Amanda Nunes in any way. Amanda Nunes is one of the greatest female fighters of all time. For me, Shevchenko, even though Amanda Nunes won in the decision and all that, but Shevchenko for me is a greater fighter. But Amanda Nunes is one of the GOATs. No doubt, she's amazing. I mean, the fight against Cyborg, I loved that fight. It was crazy that somebody was able to knock out Cyborg. I, I was like going nuts in my room. I can still recall that night. I was going crazy when I saw Amanda Nunes knocking out Chris Cyborg. That was something crazy. So she deserves all the respect. But right now, for me, she isn't a champ. If you're the champ of the featherweight division, you're not a real champ. You're not the same champ as the other ones. Because the other ones have like three times the contenders in the division like you have that's my take write in the comments what your take is what you think should happen with the ufc featherweight do you watch women's mma do you don't watch it which division is your favorite division write it all down in the comments make sure to subscribe to the channel like the video show some love and most importantly as always don't forget eat your vegetables bye bye bloodsport out Eat your vegetables.